Today, I have Eddie. He is one of my stuffed animals. And we are going to be talking about sin. Yeah, that's right. This week, we're, the children's message is based on Mark chapter 1, verses 12 through 13, which is right after Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. And it says, The Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness for 40 days, being tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild animals, and the angels were ministering to him. Well, Benjamin brought down some of his wild animals. He already showed you Eddie the Eagle, and we have... This is Penguin. Penguin, and... And this is Polly. Polly. This is Buster. Buster. Diggy the Tiger. And Smile. And Smile. I got so, this from, from Susan Comey. We each have, have picked one of our stuffed animals, and we have put a sin on there that we struggle with. So, Benjamin, what is your sin that you're struggling with right now? Lying, because last night I kind of lied to my mom. Not kind of. You did lie <laughs> yeah. to your mom. About... I lied about brushing my teeth. Oh, I know. It's so tempting, right? Sin mm -hmm. is such a temptation. Mine is the polar bear, and I struggle with yelling. When I get angry, I tend to raise my voice and lash out in anger with yelling. And... These animals are, are cute, right? But um, what are some other sins that people get tempted by? Sometimes people <coughs> sometimes people get tempted. Actually, in my school, there's someone who has autism, and she always wants attention. Yeah, but that's something that she struggles with because of her disability. So, yeah. anyway, um, so there is, you talk back to your parents, right? Mm -hmm. um, you can be mean to your friends, that's a sin. Being lazy, that's sloth. <laughs> I have Eating too much is gluttony. We talked about that earlier. Gluttony. Yep. She eats a lot much. of chocolate. I eat a lot of gossipy, not being kind to your friends. Well, these animals look awfully cute and cuddly. But we know that wild animals can be dangerous, just like a sin. It's this tempting. One kills fish. It's tempting to reach out and touch these beautiful animals, but we could be hurt or devoured. Like it says in 1 Peter 5, verse 8. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. He's seeking someone to gobble up. Satan wants to take us all away from Jesus and capture him to be his own. Jesus was tempted by the devil in the wilderness. That's what happened right after he was baptized for 40 days. And he didn't give in to any of these temptations. We are not able to do that. Are you no. able to do that? No. I'm not. That's why Jesus took all of our sins with him to the cross. Jesus protects us. He heals us when we've been bitten by sin. We're healed by his forgiveness. He also teaches us to recognize sin. That's why we read the Bible and we go to church and we go to Sunday school. So we can recognize those sins and try really hard not to keep doing them. So, um, so we don't talk back to our parents or we don't lie or we don't yell or we don't eat too much chocolate. So during this time of Lent, we're going to focus on recognizing those sins that we struggle with and how they are tempting us and pray that Jesus can help us not get too close and to remember um, that when we do get too close, it is Jesus that heals us. Should we pray? Mm -hmm. Dear Jesus, thank you for becoming like us. And, let, and showing us how to resist the temptation of sin. Thank you for your forgiveness. When we do reach out and touch sin, be with us this week as we go about doing your good work. In your perfect name we pray. Amen. Goodbye. See you next time. Bye.